Do you ever feel like you're missing a crucial piece of your identity? Like there's a whole other life you've lived but can't quite recall? You're not alone. Millions of people worldwide report fleeting glimpses of what they believe to be past lives. But here's the kicker. Most of us can't fully remember these supposed previous existences. Why? The answer might be more sinister than you think. Let's uncover the dark reasons behind your forgotten past life and how it might be affecting you right now. Understanding Past Life Amnesia Past Life Amnesia, also known as Reincarnation Amnesia, is the supposed inability to remember previous incarnations. It's a concept rooted in various spiritual and religious beliefs, including Hinduism, Buddhism, and certain New Age philosophies. The idea is simple. When we're born, we carry the essence of our previous lives, but the memories are wiped clean. It's like getting a fresh start with each new life. But why? Some say it's to allow for new experiences and growth. Others argue it's a natural part of the reincarnation process. However, not everyone buys into this explanation. Skeptics point out the lack of scientific evidence for reincarnation itself, let alone the mechanisms behind forgetting past lives. Yet the concept persists, captivating the imaginations of people across cultures and generations. Now let me go closely into the sinister truths behind why you can't remember your past life. Some of these might challenge everything you thought you knew about your existence. 1. The Cosmic Conspiracy What if your past life memories aren't just forgotten, but actively suppressed? Some fringe theorists propose a cosmic conspiracy, orchestrated by higher dimensional beings or advanced civilizations. Their goal? To keep humanity in a state of perpetual ignorance, if we could remember all our past lives, we'd have access to centuries, maybe millennia, of knowledge and experiences. We'd be far more advanced as a species. So why keep us in the dark? One theory suggests that Earth is a cosmic experiment, with humans as the unwitting subjects. By wiping our memories clean with each incarnation, these higher beings can observe how we develop and evolve without the burden of past knowledge. A survey conducted by the Institute of Noetic Sciences found that 26% of people who believe in reincarnation also believe in some form of cosmic intervention in human affairs. While this theory lacks scientific backing, it does raise intriguing questions about the nature of our existence and the potential limits placed on our consciousness. 2. The Karmic Cleanse You've probably heard of karma, the idea that our actions in this life determine our fate in the next. But what if karma also plays a role in erasing our past life memories? Some spiritual leaders propose that forgetting our past lives is a form of karmic cleansing. It's like wiping the slate clean, allowing us to start fresh without the baggage of our previous existence. But here's where it gets menacing. What if this cleansing is actually a form of cosmic punishment? By forgetting our past lives, we're forced to repeat the same mistakes, stuck in a cycle of karmic debt we can never fully repay. A study published in the Journal of Transpersonal Psychology found that 72% of people who believe in karma also reported feeling a sense of unexplained guilt or obligation in their current life. Could this be the residual effect of forgotten karmic debts? This theory suggests that the very mechanism meant to give us a fresh start might actually be trapping us in an endless cycle of spiritual debt repayment. It's a chilling thought that challenges our notions of free will and personal growth. 3. The Evolutionary Erasure What if forgetting our past lives isn't a bug but a feature of human evolution? Some researchers propose that past life amnesia might actually be an adaptive trait that helped our species survive and thrive. Think about early humans struggling to survive in a harsh, unforgiving world. Now imagine if they were burdened with memories of past lives potentially thousands of years of trauma, loss and hardship. It could be paralyzing. By starting each life with a clean slate, our ancestors could focus on the present challenges without being weighed down by the past. This theory suggests that those who could forget their past lives were more likely to survive and pass on their genes. A study in the journal Evolutionary Psychology found that people who report past life memories often struggle more with anxiety and depression compared to those who don't. This could indicate that remembering past lives 
might be more of a burden than a blessing from an evolutionary standpoint. What if this evolutionary trait is now holding us back? In our modern world, where survival is less of a daily concern, could access to the wisdom of past lives help us solve global challenges? Are we stunting our own growth as a species by clinging to this outdated survival mechanism? 4. The Memory Maze Your brain might be actively working against you when it comes to remembering past lives. Neuroscientists have discovered that our brains are wired to prioritize certain types of memories over others. It's a survival mechanism that helps us focus on what's important for our current existence. But what if this same mechanism is responsible for suppressing past life memories? Your brain, in its effort to keep you functional in this life, might be burying the memories of your previous incarnations deep in your subconscious. Some researchers believe that these suppressed memories don't just disappear, they manifest in other ways. Unexplained phobias, recurring dreams, even your personality quirks could all be echoes of your forgotten past lives. A study published in the Journal of Cognitive Neuroscience found that people who claimed to remember past lives showed unusual activity in the hippocampus and prefrontal cortex, areas of the brain associated with memory formation and retrieval. This suggests that something unique is happening in the brains of those who can access past life memories. So your own brain might be the gatekeeper, deciding which memories you get to keep and which stay locked away. It's a biological conspiracy happening right inside your head, potentially robbing you of a wealth of experiences and knowledge from your past lives. 5. The Quantum Quandary Quantum physics has shown us that reality is stranger than we ever imagined. Particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, and the act of observation can change the outcome of an experiment. What if these mind-bending principles also apply to our past lives? Some theoretical physicists propose that our consciousness might operate on a quantum level. Each life we live could be seen as a different quantum state of our consciousness. When we die and are reborn, our consciousness collapses into a new state, leaving the memories of the previous state behind. This theory suggests that our past lives aren't really in the past at all. They're happening simultaneously in parallel quantum realities. The reason we can't remember them. We're stuck in our current quantum state, unable to access the others. A survey conducted by the Institute for Quantum Consciousness found that 43% of quantum physicists believe consciousness plays a role in quantum mechanics. While this doesn't directly prove the quantum nature of past lives, it does open up intriguing possibilities. Your past lives aren't lost. They're trapped in quantum bubbles, versions of you living out entire lifetimes that you can never access or influence. It's a chilling thought that challenges our very understanding of time, consciousness and free will. Sixth, the celestial census. What if forgetting our past lives isn't just a personal issue, but a cosmic necessity? Some theorists propose the existence of a celestial bureaucracy, a cosmic system that manages the reincarnation process across the universe. This celestial census, they argue, keeps track of all souls and their incarnations. But like any system, it has limitations. To prevent overload, it wipes the memory banks clean with each new life, allowing for more efficient soul processing. A study by the University of Virginia's Division of Perceptual Studies found that cases of children remembering past lives tend to cluster in certain geographic areas. Could these be glitches in the celestial system, allowing memories to slip through? We might be nothing more than data points in a cosmic spreadsheet, our memories erased not for our benefit, but for the smooth operation of a universe-wide reincarnation system. It's a theory that reduces our rich, complex lives to mere entries in a celestial ledger. 7. The Trauma Trap Trauma can have profound effects on memory. In this life, people who experience severe trauma can develop amnesia as a coping mechanism. What if the same principle applies to past lives? Some researchers propose that the reason we can't remember our past lives is that the process of death and rebirth is so traumatic that our psyche suppresses all memories associated with it. It's a defense mechanism, protecting our current consciousness from the shock of remembering our own deaths. A study published in the Journal of Trauma and Dissociation found that people who report past life memories 
often show symptoms similar to those with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. This suggests a potential link between trauma and the ability to access past life memories. We might be trapped in a cycle of trauma, constantly reliving the shock of death and rebirth without the ability to process or overcome it. Each life becomes a brief respite before we're plunged back into the traumatic cycle, our memories wiped clean to protect us from the horror of our own existence. 8. The Soul Scrambler What if the process of reincarnation itself is responsible for scrambling our memories? Some spiritual traditions believe that between lives, our souls go through a purification process that prepares us for our next incarnation. But what if this purification is more like a cosmic blender, mixing up the essence of who we are and scattering our memories across the universe? The result would be a new incarnation with only fragments of our past selves remaining. A survey of 500 people who underwent past life regression therapy found that 68% reported memories that felt fragmented or incomplete. This could support the idea of a soul-scrambling process between lives. With each reincarnation, we lose more of ourselves. Our experiences, our learned wisdom, our very essence, all scattered like cosmic dust. We're not just forgetting our past lives, we're losing pieces of our soul with each new incarnation. 9. The Akashic Lockdown In many spiritual traditions, the Akashic records are believed to be a cosmic library containing the knowledge of all human experience and consciousness. It's said that every thought, word and action from every lifetime is recorded here. But what if access to these records is restricted? Some theorists propose that there's a cosmic safeguard in place, preventing souls from accessing the full Akashic records during their earthly incarnations. Why? The theory suggests that having access to all this knowledge would be overwhelming for our limited human consciousness. It could prevent us from fully engaging with our current life and learning the lessons we're meant to learn. A study by the Institute of Noetic Sciences found that 82% of people who claim to have accessed the Akashic Records report feeling overwhelmed or disoriented afterward. This could support the idea that our consciousness is not equipped to handle such vast amounts of information. Our own spiritual evolution might be deliberately stunted. We're kept in a state of enforced ignorance, unable to access the very knowledge that could help us grow and evolve as souls. It's a cosmic catch-22. We can't evolve enough to handle the knowledge, and without the knowledge, we can't evolve. 10. The Reincarnation Roulette What if the reason you can't remember your past life is simply that? You don't have one. Some theorists propose a chilling alternative to traditional reincarnation beliefs, the idea of soul recycling. In this theory, there's a finite number of souls in the universe, but they're not tied to specific individuals across lifetimes. Instead, when we die, our essence returns to a cosmic soul pool. When a new life begins, it draws from this pool, creating a unique combination of soul energy. This would explain why most of us can't remember past lives, because we're essentially new creations each time, a unique blend of cosmic soul stuff that's never existed before and will never exist again in quite the same way. A survey of 1,000 people who believe in reincarnation found that 37% felt a connection to multiple historical periods or cultures, rather than a single past life. This could support the idea of a more fluid soul energy rather than a continuous individual consciousness. Your sense of a continuous self across lifetimes might be an illusion. You're not forgetting your past lives, you simply don't have any. Each life is a cosmic roll of the dice, a temporary configuration of soul energy that will dissolve back into the universe when you die. It challenges our deepest notions of identity, continuity, and the nature of the self. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.